On the 8th of March 2014, the Malaysian carrier's flight took off from Kuala Lumpur, yet, didn't arrive at Beijing, its objective. Till date, nobody knows about the whereabouts of this flight. Yet, following eight years at last, we found a hint about the area of this airplane. Welcome you once again in the video. Watchers, the date was 8th Fork 2014 that is, around a long time back, flight MH370, an airplane of Malaysian carriers, will undoubtedly take off from the Malaysian capital Kuala Lumpur, also, land in Beijing, the capital of China. Two pilots, 10 Lodge team and 227 travelers were available on that flight. The majority of the travelers had a place with China. Both the pilots were extremely capable. 53-year-old Chief Sahari Ahmad Shah had 33 years of flight insight. While 27-year-old co-pilot Farooq Abdul Hamid was a lesser pilot with 7 years of flight insight. This airplane was an 11-year-old Boeing 777 airplanes. In which there was no issue of any sort, nor was this airplane a casualty of any mechanical or electrical issue before. What I need to say is that it was totally a normal flight running among Malaysia and China. Which used to fly from Malaysia to China or then again back to Malaysia from China subsequent to flying for 5 hours and 34 minutes every day. Yet, today was not a typical day for this flight, maybe it was a lot more than unusual. Obviously, flight MH370 should fly for 5 hours and 34 minutes, yet, before departure, it was stacked with fuel, that was more than required. With which it could fly for 7 hours 41 minutes. That is, over 2 hours more than its genuine necessity. It is likewise a daily scheduled practice of carriers to do as such. So that assuming the plane is redirected inferable from the awful climate crisis then it could use the additional fuel. The day was 8th Walk 2014 also, Time was 12.42 a.m. at the point when flight MH370 took off from Kuala Lumpur according to schedule. The main pilot Sahari was in direct contact with the Kuala Lumpur Aviation Authority Tower when the takeoff. On departure, the airplane turned its course towards the South China Ocean. Also, following 20 minutes i.e. at 1.09 a.m. the transponder on the airplane sent its ongoing GPS area to the radar of the Kuala Lumpur Aviation Authority Pinnacle. This is the programmed capability of the transponder to send its ongoing area to the closest radars after a brief period. Till now everything was working out as expected 10 minutes from that point onward. For example at 1.19 a.m., when flight MH370 left Malaysian Air Ward also, entered Vietnamese Air Ward. The control pinnacle of Kuala Lumpur reached first pilot Sahari once and for all and said this this implied that presently flight MH370 ought to contact the control tower of the Vietnamese city of Ho Chi Minh. First pilot Chief Sahari heard this message and furthermore answered to it. Neither the control tower nor Captain Zahari knew that this great night message would have been the last message to be gotten from MH370. Right now, an entire 37 minutes had passed since the flight took off. Presently it typically happens that until the plane arrives at its objective, it keeps in touch with the aviation authority tower of any significant air terminal coming in its manner. Also, likewise, it was expected to occur here too. Yet, all that was continuing regularly till currently, began becoming strange. Indeed, precisely three minutes later his last message, i.e. at 1.21 a.m., flight MH370 abruptly vanished from the radar. That is, the plane had totally vanished from the radar of both Kuala Lumpur and Ho Chi Minh. Yet, this was totally typical for Kuala Lumpur Pinnacle, since they felt that MH370 had now entered Vietnamese airspace, that is the reason it vanished from their radar. Yet, when the Ho Chi Minh Control Tower saw flight MH370 vanishing from their radar, they felt something was off base. They quickly attempted to contact the chief, yet nobody answered. 
For the following 18 minutes Ho Chi Minh Tower attempted to contact MH370 yet got no reaction from the chief. And afterward Ho Chi Minh Tower reached the Kuala Lumpur Tower also, advised them with everything going on. Presently typically, in this condition the salvage focus must be educated in one hour or less yet, the Kuala Lumpur Control Tower informed the Aeronautical Salvage Coordination Center following four hours. Also, by then it was past the point of no return. It was 6.15 a.m. and this was the time at the point when MH370 was booked to land in Beijing. There was an expectation that the airplane could land in Beijing at the right time. Yet, no sure news came from that point by the same token. At 6.32 a.m., a hunt activity has been begun at the specific spot from where the plane vanished. 34 boats and 28 airplanes from seven nations began looking for flight MH370 on the line of the Bay of Thailand also, the South China Ocean. Yet, there was, sadly no hint of the airplane. At this point, the entire world had come to be aware of this episode. Television, news sites and online entertainment were all showing just this news. During this, the examination group of numerous nations likewise turned into a section of the hunt activity. Nobody was truly ready to comprehend the purpose for abrupt vanishing of the airplane from every one of the radars, also, regardless of whether it had crashed on this region of the ocean, being a major airplane it was normal some disaster area trash to be seen. This search activity gone on for the following four days. Yet, there was no hint of the airplane. However at that point on the fourth day a news came which shook the whole salvage activity group. At the point when flight MH370 vanished from the radar at 1.21 am on 8th walk, it had vanished from the regular citizen radar yet stayed on the radar of the Malaysian military for the following 60 minutes. Also, what occurred after that was this way subsequent to vanishing from the regular citizen radar, for a couple of moments the airplane began moving towards the right. And afterward took a U-turn also, turned around to Malaysia. Following 31 minutes the airplane crossed the Malaysian city of Penang and afterward turned towards the Malacca waterway. Flight MH370 was last recognized as yet in the Indian Sea to the extent that the reach of military radar could identify. Also, the time was 2.22 am. After this MH370 neither appeared on military radar nor on any regular citizen radar. The whole salvage group and each individual related with this plane was simply attempting to settle one secret that where did the airplane go. What annoyed them more was that for what reason did the plane took a sharp U-turn toward the path precisely inverse Beijing. The salvage group that was before looking for the plane in the Bay of Thailand also, the South China Ocean presently they began their hunt in this piece of the Indian Sea. Yet, shockingly, there was no hint of the plane here as well. After the following couple of days, another data surfaced and indeed it changed the entire circumstance. The plane vanished from the tactical radar at 2.22 am, yet, there was a satellite with which it was in steady contact. Allow me to refresh you here, that it is typical for Boeing planes to attempt to contact the satellite at the point when their own correspondence framework flops because of some explanation. The plane naturally attempted to contact a satellite in Mars at 35,000 kilometers away, after precisely every 60 minutes. With the assistance of information saved money on this satellite, specialists played out an intricate estimation. So at last the following move of flight MH370 was likewise known. The fact that Malaysian airplane makes it found again proceeded subsequent to vanishing from military radar. Also, continued to fly over the Indian Sea in similar course for the following five hours. At 8.19 am, the airplane attempted to interface to the satellite once and for all. Also, this was the last sign from MH370. After this, neither did the plane reach some other satellite nor did it appear on some other radar. That is the point at which the salvage group initially began looking for the airplane at that point, 
the airplane was really flying. Yet, its area was far away from that point. Specialists and the examination group trust that the plane's association with the satellite was lost subsequent to arriving at this bended spot in the Indian Sea, 2,000 kilometers west of Australia. That is, subsequent to taking off from Kuala Lumpur, this plane required an entire eight hours to arrive at this bended spot. Also, the all-out fuel in the airplane was likewise just this much. So there is a high opportunity that MH370 could have collided with this bended spot because of running out of fuel. This featured bended region of the Indian Sea is greater than the entire of India. Furthermore, a remote ocean search activity was begun here. It was vital to track down MH370 since until the plane also, its black box are found, it would stay obscure what worked out inside the airplane before the accident. The most common way of looking for the plane went on months, yet for a long time. Yet, no sign of the plane was found. Following three years the remote ocean activity was at last halted, in which more than $160 million was spent. No whereabouts of the plane were found during the hunt activity. Yet, in 2015, a year later the plane's vanishing, the plane's right flapron came to near the ocean of the island of reassociation. This is the piece of the plane that proves to be useful while landing. At the point when this flapron was examined, another awful the truth was uncovered. Specialists accept that this flapron was not expanded when MH370 crashed in the water. Also, tragically this intends that while crashing on the water, the airplane fell into the ocean on its nose. Numerous different parts and trash of the plane were found from the shores of Africa during the following quite a while. Yet, till date, there's no sign of the plane or the travelers. Right up, till now, nobody realizes what could have occurred inside Malaysian flight MH370 before it vanished. A few examiners suspect that the plane was seized. While some trust that because of an electrical disappointment, the airplane's contact with the rest of the world was broken also, because of absence of oxygen, all the individuals inside the airplane had swooned. Indeed, the genuine explanation, must be known from accounts saved inside the black box of the plane, which is missing some place in the Indian Sea alongside the plane. In February 2022, after full eight years of the vanishing of MH370, the airplane was once again expected to be found. Richard Goofrey, an English resigned plane architect, has asserted that he have found out the real area of the plane through frail sign spread examination. Shockingly, the pinpoint area which Richard has referenced is available in the equivalent bended region of the Indian Sea. Richard trusts that the disaster area of missing Malaysian carriers is lying 4,000 meters beneath the sea at the precise point he had referenced. This profundity is equivalent to where Titanic laid for a long time before it was found in 1985. Presently how truly do Malaysian specialists take the case of this resigned plane architect, whether another hunt activity is sent off at this area or not, the truth will surface eventually. Trust you all will like and share this video. My ardent appreciation for your caring remarks. We'll meet you in another astounding video.